how am I freezing ne right next to the stove, even though I am protected from the wind, like totally. Hello, Governor. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself pumped up with supplies and uh, and go back to the camping office because if I have some uh, extra meat on me, that means I can stay there for like a day or two day or two kind of safely and maybe make short trips to gather uh, wood and such okay oh cold and i need to be careful that i don't eat the raw meat by accident which I have done before. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Are we? Are we still clear? Okay. I'm gonna try to take the hide. Hide into guts because I can uh, put them in the office thingy to cure. And if I can get all this. Food gives me gives me the liberty to stay at the at the office and uh, and even if I okay let's, let's uh, use the other route even if I have taken in hypothermia which I think I haven't yet I can uh, I can just lay low for a day or so. Run, 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 run. Run. Okay. Goodie. always good to have a known food source uh, within an hour's uh, hours walk or so. It's even better if it's a uh, replenishable food source. Let's go upstairs. Do we have curtains here? No. Dang.
Okay, I think I'm actually gonna eat one of the canned ones. Uh, which one was the... One of them was kind of... Uh, kind of not so good condition anymore. Yeah, this one. And then I can cook the meat and the fish. should have enough for cooking all the meats. This was a big fish. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's eat the smaller portion of meat. Another thing that I learned about uh, uh, about the food stuff is that uh, the way that meat or, or any harvested stuff shows up in your inventory uh, depends on how you harvest it. Like if you harvest uh, half a kilogram. Uh, Chunks, then you get the number of those chunks. If you if you harvest it all together, then you get like one uh, one big as uh, a meat chunk. And if you cook it all at once and uh, and you eat it uh, until your uh, your uh, calorie budget is full, then that might uh, be wasteful under certain conditions like if you have uh, if you have like half a kilo bits then it's uh, it's easier to budget out your food peckish huh let's eat some fresh meat Some. And then let's uh, sleep some more. I ain't going out there when it's uh, when it's night time. Okay, we should be enough to start roaming about the building. So any furniture? 
hatcher up here. Table. I think I need a hatchet for a table. anything uh, anything non hatchet that I can actually harvest right now. are for emergencies. So is accelerant. Now I understand that this whole situation can be can be considered an emergency, but you know like extra emergency. actually have somewhat enough supplies to go out exploring although yeah so that's the thing the food is not an issue in this location I, I can go fish uh, and firewood is also easily obtainable but I would need stuff to improve my uh, my clothing oh okay drop this one here and drop this one here I forgot about those and while I'm elsewhere ah I'm gonna drop one of these as well and keep one of them on me so while I'm away doing other stuff, the deer hide will just do its thing in here and the guts and all. Just carry on. Oh, okay, so it's data. Sharpen it a little bit more. Okay, so for the day, I am going out. 
I'm gonna try to find materials and or uh, more clothes. Stick, pick up. Oh, this is crunch. And this time I want to see where this uh, little road path thing leads to. Like, is it just circling back to the lake or what? Some bambies running out there. And uh, right now, the amount of food that they have on me uh, would allow me to park my ass uh, somewhere else until the next day and then sort of work my way back here yeah it would seem that the lake is uh, on top of that mountain and um, this trail is indeed leading past the lake not to it okay so here are the ones let's go downhill for now Sunlight. This means I can light the fire with the magnifying glass. Oh no, it's leading back to the lake. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, in that case, let's check out the other friend. soon. I mean, we probably already do need a fire, but, but I, would, I would like to try and reach somewhere before I light it. Okay, and she's running out of steam. Better not to push now. Oh, I think it's a map transition. Okay. This also means is some oh is it there K? <laughs> yeah, I think let's build a fire here. <laughs> Sometimes these uh, seemingly dead end uh, caves actually lead to other areas. But I don't know if that's the case here. This is a standard situation. So, no books, no accelerant. The skill has to come from somewhere. Oh, come on!
have some sticks. And I guess we can add this one too. 85, 86, and four. Okay, let's see this one. Which one of them is... <laughs> okay, looks like I chose the right one. Let's also prepare some water. as I was hoping to. There is no transition here. Go figure. Okay, seems that I can't get up <coughs> there. Okay. Got it. back to the office. I think let's return to office and get warm. And if I if I snooze like an hour that should still leave me enough daylight uh, to explore another uh, uh, direction. Oh she's getting tired. Okay. It's like in uh, Mirror's Edge, like uh, when you see red then it indicates that, that, uh, that that's the way you should go. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, although that can backfire with some things like the uh, train cards, which are also very deep red and you see them from afar and, and go there run forward and, uh, and think that uh, you're about to be saved from the cold and then it turns out that it's just just a cart and you can't even access it in any way or interface with it. Still cold, huh? Uh, can we... Show me, can we uh, harvest this one? Yeah. So I think instead of going out, let's uh, let's 
stay here for the night or like for the for the rest of the day and work on repairs How do you, how exactly do you fail patching some pants? I mean, surely that's more an aesthetic thing. still have enough uh, cloth to patch the gloves? Oh, we might. Let's try. Uh, okay, so if you fail then you use up some of the resource I, I get her. Eat now. Well, let's uh, taste some of that tasty meat. I mean, tasty fish. Oh, surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I, I get it that these uh, voice messages are uh, are indicating the state. Usually, uh, usually I'm already on it. A bit of uh, visual clue would actually be a little bit more helpful, maybe. I don't know. Like sometimes, uh, yeah, I, I realize that the audio clues uh, can be really useful. Like uh, when when you drop in, drop below certain. Uh, Certain uh, comfortable temperature when you start uh, when you really start to pay attention to uh, how cold it is, then then she points it out and all that. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, the visual clues are kind of there and then they're not there. I, I'm I guess that that's one of the aspects that's still sort of in trial and error and all that. Oh, is there something under the bed? No. So, what time is it? It's getting dark soon, so I don't want to go out, but at, at the same time... Yeah, okay, let's, let's build a fire and then uh, make some more water. This uh, whole getting antsy or getting restless or cabin feverish uh, thing is is one is one thing that uh, that the game kind of highlights, or, or like the, the the game's process kind of uh, highlights. Uh, or, or I have I have made an observation that once you're not in immediate danger and and immediately starving and immediately thirsty then it's very easy to get antsy and start uh, going out there and taking risks so it's uh, it's actually very important to come up with a sort of uh, daily strategy and uh, and, uh, and 
daily daily conduct, uh, which, which is uh, which is one thing that's that's also taught in uh, in real life uh, survival situations that you have to you have to be able to um, tend to your mental state as well, not just uh, the war and all that. Tasty water. And how much time do we have left? Well, I think we might even be able to boil one more dose. Or maybe not. Okay. if the fire runs out before you boil it. Huh. Groovy. So, I have done my daily chores and I can have some rest. So let's have like <gasps> five hours. another hour and then I'm gonna make a warm mm, something where's the stove I can't see the stove in the dark bed it should be right here I don't yeah okay. I don't want to use the lantern too much because I don't have a fuel source right now. Oh, she's not hungry yet. Where is she? Oh, I guess she's hungry now. some water behind uh, in the cabin or, or in the office. Boil it, boil it, boil it. Okay, uh, drop some water. Oh, first let's drink. And then I'm gonna drop some water there. Not 
all at once but in, in smaller batches. Oh, you can sort by weight and quality, I take it. Oh, okay, this is within each category. this behind and this uh -huh. and let's sharpen the knife sharpen it some more and what do you know it's daylight and of course it's blizzard out there. So are we full warm? Um I'm gonna leave some food item here as well. These are good on the go. These are also awesome on the go. Let's, let's leave the tomato soup here just in case. In case I get back and find that I have nothing on me and I'm too weak to go, go fishing and or hunting or scavenging. Okay, so it's a bit blizzardy, but my tracks are still visible. Okay. So the goal is to get more gear and especially clothing items. Okay, and <laughs> I'm not sure which way I was coming from. Bambi! So the railroad is the main uh, main guidance. Yeah, let's go that way. Follow Bambi. Follow that deer. Hello. I think that the railroad is leading to a couple stick. It is leading into a tunnel in the mountains, maybe, probably. Some of the audio clues, I am not certain if they're if they're like good clues or bad clues. Like, if she sighs like this, is it, does this mean that she's catching her breath? Oh, <laughs> there goes Bambi. I better stay back. just wait here. But I am not going to uh, get near. Okay, let's build a fire instead. Uh, maybe a little bit farther away. Like here. Oops. Or let's check the other side of these tracks as well. Yeah, I, I have totally forgotten which uh, way I was coming from before. Like, was it from here? I was so excited to get to the railroad. And I started moving on and then I was so excited that I saw red and ran all the way and well, now I have no memory of which way I was actually coming from. Although I think it was from here. So instead of going into danger zone, let's follow the tracks the other way again. But this time 
uh, instead of turning into the office, I will follow the tracks a little bit farther on. Although I might need to build a fire, or I might even go to the office and warm up. I can see a train cart over there. Uh, I'm gonna go warm up for an hour and then continue. But at least I I got it cleared up which way I was coming from. It does sound more like a sigh of relief, so I guess it's a good sigh. Okay, warm up time. Yeah, we still have plenty of day daylight left. Eat this, I suppose. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to move on. recognize the location which I might not I think there's a cabin or the uh, not a tra cabin a trailer next to those uh, those thingies okay and there's another path going that way noted still I'm gonna try to not spend too long time out here with my suboptimal wardrobe and whatnot. Then again, I can't leave some good sticks to stay around. Ah, yeah, these uh, these train cards actually illustrate the point that I I was thinking of. Like they they show up red, which uh, signals do that right here, warmth right here. Oh shit, there's a wolf. But uh, at least uh, right now I haven't been able to actually interact with these. Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, I can't get any higher. I'll build a fire then. the wolf nosing about okay it's going put more sticks in it and yeah let's uh, let's eat that because 
from the inside. And then I'm gonna take a torch. I'm scared of what. bonus from this fire? Mm. Yep, definitely need better clothes. <laughs> ah! If I get too close to it, then it's still gonna attack. Roll thing here because uh, if I can, although those those wolves are a tad intimidating. Uh, okay, so the same thing that lets me hide from the wolves in this corner is also keeping me from placing my bed roll. Probably should just go back to the office. Uh oh. Okay, the wolf is de definitely scared away, but now the thing is, do I do I find anything from here, or is it just a dead end? Because if it's a dead end, then I'm a bit fucked. Yeah, the railment, I get it, but the thing is, if I could go into the carts, it would be it would be lovely, but I don't think I can. Because it it looks as if it's open but it's not. Ah, uh, build a fire here. Exhausted, damn. Okay, now now the book comes in. <gasps> Come on. Thank you. 
Oh, Bambi. Goody. Right. Now this is a tad bad situation because I'm s apparently I'm so exhausted uh, that I can't run. my bedroll down here then they're gonna get me <coughs> basically I need to get away from these wolves Possibly something ahead instead. Because I can see logs, that might mean that there's also a, uh, a trailer. Score a hypothermia from here. Oh, there's another wolf. Damn. Where's the bear? There's the tree. Oh no, it's a tree. Yeah, there should be a uh, a trailer. And uh, yeah, there's another wolf. Damn. There is one in, uh, in that tree stumpy area. Emergency fire would probably be in order. Okay, there is no no cabin here or no no trailer. Fire. Oh shit! Oh, 
<laughs> I'm just uh, just waving my little. Uh, Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Oh, ha, ha, oh, oh, wow. Um, how did you do that? Okay, I'm on the other side of this thingy now. So let's see if I can, if I can make it over there. Ah, okay, there is a dead Bambi here as well, that, that explains the wolf. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm pretty sure there is a, a trailer. And if there's not, then I'm gonna build a fire and uh, I'll just utilize the uh, bedroll for a little extra uh, for warm up. Pick up some sticks on the way. Always pick up some sticks. The health it deteriorated fast. Oh, there's the cabin. I mean, trailer, whatever. Indoors. So right now I'm I'm a little bit uh, better off than uh, during my previous game where I was uh, trying to find uh, food sources and uh, and left the uh, Pleasant Valley homestead because uh, because it was safe there. It was uh, it was uh, warm there, but. Uh, at some point I had to travel too much to get food and, and I ran out of nearby sources and I had to head out and of course I got uh, caught by a blizzard and uh, nearly starved and, uh, and my health was uh, very very low but I made it to some, some sort of grocery store If you throw a wolf at me at this point, which you will, I am gonna be disappointed. Yeah, get in there. Whew. Holy shit. I wish these uh, had also some, uh, some heat sources, but oh, okay, it's warm enough. How much for the bed? Uh, Bed bonus is better. Use the bed bonus. Meanwhile, let's search. Goody. Anything in here? Nope. Oh yeah, pillow is what I need. Although I think if you have a knife, then uh, uh, then uh, the can opener isn't even any better. Maybe I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck you, wolf. Yeah, one more cloth, please. I think I might 
use the flare. Because I think this wolf isn't working out here. Hold up, bitch. It's not here. Oh yes, the rifle, please. Is that the rifle? Oh no. He's a hatch. I'm not gonna start the fire here right now. Here, okay. Uh, no, no, don't don't break the shelf right now. Let's just gather stuff. I think I already have one lantern, but hey, I can uh, I can dismantle one and uh, and repair the other if I have to. start crafting let's check out the fur trade as well while my flare is still on and I can wave something at the wolf's face okay so we're there I'm carrying all the old torches, that's why I'm so heavy. Is that another can opener? I'm gonna leave it here for now. Oh, tools, goody. I see a lot of crafting in my future. Okay. Where's the wolf? area so let's just build a fire in here Now, <laughs> so yes, let's cook one of these. Right there. 